Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Nostalgia. Since last time, I went ahead and I purchased the uh, Eterna Force Armor, which you got from the uh, Craftsman over in Tokyo, and it makes your defense power insane, and it resists to all elements, and I just pretty much wanted to come here and show you what my setup was like, because we're going to be taking on some airship bosses today, and I've been talking about them for quite some time, but now, today is the day. So, let's go on over here. We are looking for Scarlet in her Esperanza airship, and she's in medium altitude right about there. Yeah, there you are. Hey! Uh, sure, this is your point of no return, so be very certain that you're ready to go. What are you sorry about? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, if you weren't my dad, I wouldn't be able to be on this adventure at all. Save the world! Yeah, I have some really good partners, but your partners in the past were crap. Huh. This whole storyline of Gilbert being, like, an adventure in the past reminds me a lot of the storyline of Final Fantasy V. I'm not going to spoil anything, but for those of you who have actually played Final Fantasy V, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. Oh, yeah. Future's so bright, gotta wear shades. Wow, I'm really aging myself. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna help us and join us? Hey, Scarlet. Okay. I'm ready as I'll ever be, so let's do this. Oh, wait. So we're on our own air... Oh, ho hold on a second. If Scarlet is on her airship, and we were just on Scarlet's airship... Oh, look, there's Estelle, who wasn't in the other scene. But now Eddie's back on his airship? That doesn't make sense. How was Eddie able to get back on his airship? Oh, hey. And there's the uh, Damocles getting ready to go on in there. Whoa! What in the hell is that thing? Holy crap! Looks like some sort of parasite or something. Yeah, no kidding. The Paracelsus, huh? Oh, okay, so it's the Cabal, and it's actually pointing its gun at Commander Fogg, not at us or at the Esperanza. Whoa! Well, that is true. If this is the uh, Cabal's cannon or their defense mechanism, Commander Fogg is still against Emperor Terra. I mean, we're against Emperor Fogg as... or not Emperor Fogg, Commander Fogg as well. Oh, he got a direct hit. Yeah, no kidding. Um, if the Damocles goes down and Commander Fogg dies, I really don't care, since he wants the tablets too. He just wants them for, you know, a different reason. The Cabal wants to destroy the world, and Commander Fogg wants to destroy the world too, but Commander Fogg, after destroying it, wants to rebuild it? I don't know. Okay, so now it's up to us to kill the Paracelsus for... Whatever reason, don't ask me why, I'm not... <laughs> Just because it's there, we have to kill it. So, yeah, go ahead and start with Smoke Shot. This guy actually has four separate targets. Three of the targets have um, 1,500 HP. The middle target has 5,000 HP. The various targets do do different things. One of them will heal the middle, the one with the 5,000 HP, for roughly 100-ish HP, which is really... Pfft, who cares? The other one will um, do, like, magical damage against you, and one supposedly causes status ailments against you, but I haven't had that happen to me. And then the thing in the middle with the 5,000 HP will uh, start counting down for, like, its mega death cannon. But it'll only hit you once as long as, you know, you do what you do. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing for this battle is I want Eddie to use power boost two times and then continue on with his ultimate attack. I think, I believe it's like Infinity Rush or something like that, have Pad continually, every single turn, use Smoke Shot. Um, Melody, Aurora Cannon, every single turn. At first, with Fiona, have her buff up your defense, especially if you didn't get the, um, the armor plate that I got. And once you do that, you can use Arrow Field, which essentially makes it that every time that the Maverick is attacked, she counter-attacks. So that could come in handy, but honestly, she really has no offense. So I'm just kind of doing it because there's really nothing else for her to do. Once the little guys with only 1500 HP are defeated, 
then we can move on to phase two of this fight, which apparently is right now. <laughs> well, that came in uh, pretty quick. So now all we have is the countdown guy left, and he's not gonna do any kind of damage to you, he's just going to count down, that's it. So half pad now use support shot, and then have Melody and Fiona attack, getting in the support shot damage from Pad, and ha continue have Eddie using Limit Excel, and this guy will go down in no time flat. If he does hit you with the cannon, then just have Fiona heal, because you're gonna have five more turns to heal up, you know, to, to, to defend yourself from that uh, attack. So it's very simple, very easy, and I'll meet you when this guy's dead. I'm very sorry about all the fast forwarding that I've been doing lately, however, it seems like this is always what happens whenever I play these JRPGs. There really is like, you know, one best formulaic way to kill all the bosses once you get to, you know, your ultimate power, and at this point in the game, the bosses have so much HP, they just take so much time that, it, in interest of saving you guys time, I figure I'll just fast forward rather than just, you know, waste your time just watching the same thing happen over and over and over again. So anyway, uh, looks like we're going to be following the Damocles and the Paracelsus here into Asgard. What exactly is Asgard? Oh, hey dad, are you going to follow us in too? Are you going to join us? It would be nice to have, um, we could have Estelle, Scarlet, and Gilbert join our parties. Hey, hey. Okay, that's the plan. And in we go, yet they're not going to follow us. What I do like here is that the, your, your airship changes based upon what armor you have equipped, and you can see that change in the cutscene there. So, that's pretty cool. Are we, like, in an underworld or something? Hmm. Yeah. It is an underworld. What is this, Hollow Earth Theory? Yeah, we'll talk about that too. It has some surprising Nazi affiliations too. Well, let's see what our party has to say about this turn of events. Yeah, no kidding. Another mythical thing that we have going on here. Oh, so it's like some Jurassic era place? Huh. Okay. Um, if you say so. Yeah. But before we can go look for the dam, please, let's go over here, the Land of Coral. Okay. Huh, so this is where all these corals come from. Oh, just one friend? How are you able to do that? Who knows? Oh, does the Tower of the Sun light this place up? I mean, I would assume that, you know, the real sun wouldn't be able to uh, get into here. Sorry, I went through that too fast. Uh, there's a bunch of treasures over here. Full mechanics kit, a warp stone, and a mysterious item. And uh, the other one I think was like a, a potion or something. Anyway, that mysterious item, we can't actually get appraised until the post game, which is very unfortunate because it is a gold statue, which will um, allow you to, uh, yeah, I want to buy that. There we go. Which will allow you to gain more money um, at the end of every battle. So I have like no money right now, and that would come in really handy for the equipment that I want to buy here. And there's some really nice uh, armor here as well that I want to show. Unfortunately, Pad's weapon, we, well, not unfortunately, but we already got a better weapon anyway. So let me show you the armor here, and I'm going to be buying it uh, between this episode and next episode. Look at all those resistances and those stats, it's so nice. So this is strong against all the elements, so is this, but it gives you some status resistances as well. And then more status resistances here, and then even more here. So it's really nice, and I want to get full outfits for everybody of the uh, Eternia armor. And again, I'm gonna be doing that between episodes. Oh, hey, who are you? Harvard, oh yeah, I remember you. You were the guy who uh, founded El Dorado. Oh, yeah, huh. I guess it's pleasant. It does look kind of Jurassic. Reminds me of uh, something in Earthbound. So all the various different items are here if you wanna stock up. But again, I can't afford it all because I wasted a million gold on other things. Let's get on out of here. And also, 
this place does count towards your map completion, so keep that in mind. So there's just the Land of Coral and the Tower of the Sun. And here we are with the Tower of the Sun right here. Also, I'm going to do the map completion for this area between episodes as well. Thankfully, it's really rather small. Oh, so how do we get rid of this wall of light? Three guardians. Huh. Okay. And they're actually really close by. Over here, we have our first guardian. There's another one right there, these little statues. And then back behind it, there's a third statue. So let's go ahead and uh, get this show on the road. So these three guardians, her name is Dyke, seriously. Um, they have 2,500 HP and um, basically just um, use you know the same tactics that we have been using against these guys. Uh, support shot, use limit excel, use your power boost, use everything else. They're very simple, very easy. If you can uh, de defeat the Paracelsus, then you can defeat these guys no problem at all. They are all weak to dark. Um, they all either use holy magic against you or they use physical hits. They don't really do much else. And I'm just going to defeat all three of them off screen because there's really no reason for you to watch me, you know, fight these guys. Um, if they hit you a lot, have Fiona heal you. I mean, that's all I can really say. There we go, and if you can take care of those uh, four guys, you really don't have to worry about airship battles at all. They're really not actually all that bad. That's why I didn't really put that much time, effort, and energy into uh, purchasing airship skills. Let's uh, see what our party chat says. Oh, um, yeah, we could uh, put them to the gallows, hang them high from the tree. Eh, uh, yeah. Or we could just head on into the Tower of the Sun, which we'll do next time on Let's Play Nostalgia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.